Leo. I wanted to do a quick check-in for you guys for the week. I know it is a crazy week, so I'm doing some wacky weekly check-ins for you guys, okay? Um, that Mars, Uranus conjunction, and Venus transiting Cancer um, are especially tough right now, especially with the Saturn squared um, to the aspects in Taurus. So a lot of people are going through a bunch of towers right now. Um, they will all work out. All right, I did a separate special on those for each one of you guys, all right, um, under a playlist called Love and War of the Gods, okay, with a house-by-house -house analysis and a spread for every one of you, okay? Um, this is referencing us to Ness. Tell me about my Leo for this week, please. I don't know if you guys have any like a happy birthday if you haven't had your birthday yet and if you have I hope it was wonderful um, you are popping here with a couple of things all right we got a lot of prosperity going on here we also have I'm gonna pull some Lenormans for you some references to an older woman as well as references to um, home and family security and some issues with um, plans okay even though there's prosperity here Looks like there's, there might be a couple things lurking in the background for some of you guys here. Okay, with the axe here. You might be giving somebody the axe. But this looks like something's going on in your periphery here that you may need to deal with, which is to be expected, okay? None of these readings for the past two weeks have been um, stellar for anyone, okay? But you are showing here with the fish, which goes along with your abundance, okay? Could be in commerce or work but it's usually a lot of prosperity okay you also have the letter here all right everybody's popping for communications right now okay but this is going to be specific and the cross cross is not always fortunate um sometimes it's like a big cross to bear i'm gonna pull a celtic cross okay a quick one for you guys all right i hope you guys are great for my Leo. Everything's pre shuffled. I will I will be pulling clarifiers today. There's some plans that are like successful here with abundance. Okay, four of wands, there we go. This is the end, but death is at the bottom. Scorpionic energy, king of wands, king of cups, two of cups, hierophant, temperance, holy shit, ten of swords. Some of you may be deciding between two or ending a major commitment here, with the, especially with the Ten of Swords and Death. I pulled one for, um, was it Taurus the other day? And uh, I couldn't even plug that one because it was it was like shorter than I wanted and I decided to use more cards for them. Um, and they wound up with the same cards except for one in their like first three cards, but I I pulled for them and they got like triple death. It was like death tower ten of swords. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh, okay. You may have some celebrations around the home here. Yeah, four of wands, last judgment is crossing you right now, okay? Um, there there does look to be some communications here and some plans that may be unsuccessful that you need to work on. Also, some of you may have some dealings here with um with an older family member, possibly. Two fours, four swords. You want to rest right now in your head, in your heart space here, but I'm not sure that you can if this much is going on. Nine of Pentacles in the recent past looks excellent. And the prosperity here, or potential for prosperity, um, if you're involved in business or work dealings right now, are really, really good here. There's something here with a specific three of pentacles is on your mind. Work collaborations, possibly a friendship, okay? And this four of wands does not have to be for love. Love has popped up for a lot of people right now. Um, but we're just, I'm going to have to pull some more before I say that. But, you know, if not, this is a major foundation in work or something else that's on your mind right now. No, three of wands, three and three and four and four. Three of wands and three of pentacles. Hmm. Some of you may be dealing with a third party scenario here that's kind of gumming up the works in um, the family love or work department here. 
messing with foundations of some sort or another here that needs to be um, fixed. Okay? You guys have, um, you're going to be opposing Saturn soon on the 12th of August. I'll do a special all sign spread for that. Okay? Um, because of the square, it's going to be kind of rough. All right? There's somebody in your environment in your environment that you may or may not be aware of, Five of Pentacles, either it's like there's so much potential here, but then there's some issues, so it's like, this is it's going to be one of those ones, I haven't got anything but that this week, so it's totally, totally be expected, that's why I'm on here doing these, I don't always do these, and when I do, sometimes I do them all in one, this, this week I'm doing them separately, give me um, the likely outcome for my Leo, please. Strength. The moon and the ten of swords. I feel like there's some pain here. Again, I'm still seeing like some sort of breakup, and it could be a breakup in a or a transition here at work too. Okay, or with some family, especially if it's with a mother figure. Let's see. Let's see, Leo. I want um, three on this last judgment for my Leo. And I'm going to pull on these as well. Some of you may have like a mother that's like aged or something or have lost one recently. Something of this sort here. Mm. The hermit card again. The hermit's been a big one as well as your cards. Um, we have the three on the last judgment here. We have the uh, Three of Wands, the Hermit, and the Eight of Cups. So I do feel like there's a walk away of some significance here going on for you guys. It's crossing you, which to me means it's challenging you in one way or another, okay? Um, it could be the challenge from you or it could be a challenge from somebody else and walking away from something, okay? Um, but there is like a portal here and a time of introspection possibly, okay? Possibly after waiting for something that just didn't come from someone here. Somebody has to walk away, something of this sort, but yeah. Um, on this Four of Wands, we get the Nine of Swords, okay? The Seven of Wands and the Father of Cups. I feel like you guys blocking somebody out, maybe a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Those of you that are married or, or cutting off a relationship here after significant anxiety here of some type or another, over what's going down here. Hold on a second. Let me pull on this real quick. Give me this. Um, I want this fish because I want these fish. Give me the fish for my Leo. Something here at work, Leo. Um, something with a creative offer or something with a child here to do with money and work in abundance, okay? Doesn't always have to be, but this is like the riches of the sea here, and it's usually a time of prosperity, but there's something here funky with the Seven of Swords, the Princess of Cups, and the Sun. And if it is work, it may be that you have to do something very sly-like at work with a new creative endeavor to bring you into the Sun, or you guys have something in the beginning phases that hasn't fully kicked off yet, Okay, that you're working on very stealth like for some of you it could be why is the seven of cups here um seven of swords oh this is good this is good on the seven of swords i get the ten of swords it doesn't sound good but the ten of swords the eight of swords and the two of cups so um for some of you there is some sort of break here and that might be a break in your own behavior, especially if you've been lying to yourself about something to do with work or your money or your commerce. You know, if there was something that you just couldn't see here, you know, or that, or if you were the one that was engaged in any lying or deception here, it looks like there's an end to that, okay, because it interfered, it kept you in bondage, somehow related to a relationship to a cops, an important one. Could be a family relationship, could be a lover or, or, or a spouse does not have to be, you know, just a love relationship here. Hold on. But whatever it is, it's like it holds you in bondage, and so you're ending it. So for some of you, you're trying to get away clean. 
and with some of your money intact or some of your business intact or something of this sort, something with your money and your prosperity, you, you feel like you need to protect um, during this break, whatever break it is here. What is this? Um, some of you um, may communicate for a living. Let's see. What is this letter? Or receive harsh news here. Hold on. No. You... There's something here with communications that are taking place very hastily and swift, but also in a after a time of introspection or somebody else here on your periphery, or this may be you um, discussing either receiving or sending communications about your wish fulfillment. All right, they're somewhat confidential or private, and you have to go in to like study on them, you know, and then possibly communicate thereafter, and you may have to communicate with swift force, with the Knight of Swords here, or take swift action, yeah, in regards to work, Eight of Pentacles, all right, or there's a, or there's a Virgo involved here, okay, um, this Virgo is involved possibly in communications, if so, um, in regards to their wish fulfillment here, hold on, what's this cross? Well, this is your reading, Leo, if you have aspects in Virgo, they're like, you need to pay close attention because they're maybe playing off or interfering with other aspects that you have in Leo, you know, in one way or another, especially with the planetary configurations right now, you may just feel pulled in several directions, especially between your own planetary aspects, um, and feel the pressures in those in this way. Um, yeah. On this cross, like, some of you, I feel like you're in a time of, of deep introspection here or wanting to take action or there was action taken um some of you may have walked away or lost a father okay um and you may be handling something in regards to or walking away from another masculine figure in your life making a decision on what you're going to do in regards to a masculine figure in your life okay or just really um if you lost your father a long time ago you're you're trying to Kind of, kind of ask yourself, what would he do, and what would I do, depending on what he would do, and is that the right thing, or something of this sort here I'm getting. Um, but it's a lot of deep feelings with this cross, and there's a decision here, and it might be financial, eight of cups, two of pentacles, emperor. Okay? It's weighing on your heart, like, very heavily, to the point that you may be praying about it, or trying to. Okay? What is this? Why is the two of pentacles here? Now I have a now I have an empress. This has to do with your mother and father, or this has to do with um, <sighs> there's some weighty decision here, Leo, that some of you are facing, or something going on here where you're considering breaking up your marriage, especially if you're 35 and above, okay, um, or dealing with issues with your own parents, or facing down some sort of decisions, or there was some sort of decision here made between a divine masculine and divine feminine pretty high up in the deck. Okay, pretty established and well respected. I have an emperor and an empress here. Okay, uh, both on this cross. Okay, and when I asked what was the two of pentacles, and I told you that has to do with the decision, the empress fell out on it. The five of cups and the wheel of fortune. Something to do with you if you're this feminine or a feminine you're dealing with or, or a mother figure here. Alright, that you're also Morning. I've got a lot of sadness and mourning here. I have an Eight of Cups and a Five of Cups, and I have the Wheel of Fortune. Something about timing here is really weighing heavy on you. Um, if you lost them, maybe it was their time to go, okay? But you're still in a massive amount of grief here over it here. It's showing. Um, it's showing. It's showing like you trying to connect with them and something about a decision here weighs heavily on you or something like of this sort, okay? What is this Wheel of Fortune? Leo. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Ace of Cups in the reverse. You feel cut off from like love, emotional fulfillment right now without them possibly? Or you feel like the Wheel of Fortune may not spend in your favor here? What is this Wheel of Fortune? Because of it, something that was done here? decision. 
Hold on. What is this Wheel of Fortune? King of Swords. King of Cups. Holy shit. Knight of Wands. I told you, some of you, this is a different deck than this one. Some of you are dealing with two masculines. Okay. Possibly three. Okay. Or you're dealing in a family dynamic here. If this is your family. You're dealing it with a family dynamic with older children and you're way older or this could be your siblings hmm it's like you're trying to decide which one of these two individuals to take action for towards where you may be deciding on a love relationship especially if it involves a king of swords gemini libra aquarius but with the knight of wands here that's that's action and the wheel of fortune is here showing action so there's a lot of hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue on and then I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. There's some major decision though here about a, um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, okay, here and collaborations that need to be done that you may be hesitating on because you're in so much mourning or sadness around it that I feel like you may be stalled a little bit about your options and what to do. You may be a little bit overwhelmed because you have the four of swords, which is, it's like a sleeping on it card, but you can, you know, you're resting, you're trying to recoup, recover in your heart, or you feel like you need to. You feel like you're not, and you feel like you need to, is what's showing here. Give me this Four of Swords. I do show you in a period of great independence, okay, great Empress en um, energy here in the background in the recent past, Nine of Pentacles. That's a lot of wealth and independence, okay? That can be self-owned and operated and, you know, not worried about money. But I have this Five of Cups over here. I mean, this Five of Pentacles over here and this Seven of Cups over here. Something's going on. Sorry, that's my cat. <laughs> Tesla. Tesla. Give me the Four of Swords here. You're thinking about, oh, geez, so many Leo cards for Leo, but this is happening in a lot of readings because it's also Leo season, but um, there's something here you want to move away from. Again, this has to do with breaking with something, and it may not be a relationship. For some of you, it will be. For some of you, it's a major foundation at work in one instance or another, or a wedding or something like this, and if the wedding hasn't happened, some of you are thinking of backing out. And if the wedding has happened, you know, there's some other foundation that could have to do with a home here. Or there's something with the living arrangements, okay? So, or, or the work arrangements or something like this. It's like on this four of swords, I get a six of swords, a chariot, and strength. It's like you need to move away from something for victory. You need to move to calmer waters for to truly engage in rest. You need to move to calmer waters or you're moving away now to calmer waters, you know, but you have to have a lot of strength to do it, which means you didn't really want to leave or you're not sure what to do or something of this sort. This could be, um, hold on. What, why is this strength here? If you have aspects on the cusp, your cusp aspects are just showing up here, and now I get the Hierophant in the reverse. For some of you, this is a marriage or commitment or, or a major work deal. Like, especially if you have a high position at work or, you know, you are, you know, thinking of climbing up the ranks, then you're not. You may not be getting paid or the distribution of something here within a commitment or at work is unfair because I have the Hierophant and then the Six of Pentacles, that's give and take of money, giving to one to take from another, etc., etc., divvying up, how you divvy things up, how things are divvied up here, and it may be involving work or commitment here, something of extremely higher order, okay, there's something out of balance, out of whack, you want to move to um, calmer waters because you don't feel peaceful because of what's going on, and a lot of what's going on is in your heart, in your head rather than like outside, although there is stuff going on in the outside, this is a lot of inward stuff going on and it's like, it's very heavy, it's very heavy. That's in, that's around this week, especially, you know, when you guys have Saturn opposing your sign, especially if you're born in the latter decan, okay? Um, if you're born, you know, I would say anywhere from 12 to like 25, 
these will feel uh, degrees of Leo that's Sun and arising these will feel this week will feel especially strong okay um, what is this um, give me this nine of Pentacles here yeah there's something here about your independence here and some of you if some of you have become engaged and you haven't been married yet or something or you recently got married something's shutting down with your independence like it you know it's like the, or, or your wealth here nine of pentacles the world five of pentacles six of wands that's real weird that's real weird it's like there was a victory in leaving somebody out in the cold or some of you, something weird here. Hold on. What is this? Um, what is this five of pentacles? Or there could be, hold on. What is this five of pentacles? I, I, I got it. Hold on. This Five of Pentacles could have to do with a child, for some of you. The Fool in the Reverse, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Some of you may have lost a child, some of you may have, and felt like you lost your independence because you were having a child, okay? For others of you, you may have lost a child, or lost a chance at like a, a love relationship here that you really wanted, but you may have got hitched. Others of you, I see this, especially if you lost your parents, this playing out that like all of a sudden you're independent and abundant, but you really miss your parents, so you felt in the cold. So it's like you feel like you're supposed to be happy, but you're still not, or something of this sort. It's heavy right now. It's a lot of mourning. There's a lot of cups, a lot of like negative cup energy, not negative cup energy, but just lost cup energy on here. Um, what is this? Um, Especially if you had a birthday and you've lost your parents recently, you may be missing them really, really bad. Um, what is this um, Seven of Cups? All right, but there's other stuff going on here too, and it's like hard for you to address it because you're you're a little you're in a little bit of pain right now. Okay, what is this Seven of Cups? On the Seven of Cups, I get the Seven of Cups. I can't pull anymore. Um, you, what you're exuding to your environment is that you're open to looking at your options. You're open to looking at your options but sometimes when you look at your options this can you can kind of get lost in the disillusionment especially if you are um, coming from a place of pain you know um, and there's a lot of pain energy here and I feel like you want to move you want to move you want to make some moves of some sort here um, because there's some stagnancy here that you want to move but you're having a hard time getting out of the bed um, hold on why is the five of Pentacles here but you're thinking about it. You're trying. You're doing it. It's like one day at a time. And that's what this week's going to feel like a little bit, especially if you feel overloaded with energy, which you can. Okay? Um, I've got um, in your environment that you may or may not be aware of, it's like Princess of Swords in Reverse, Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles. Somebody here, and they may have gone through a period of poverty or just a period of being left out in the cold but they're stepping up this may or may not be you or someone around you if it's not you okay there may be something here it's like there's something here that's blocked off this king of pentacles is like blocked something off with a princess of swords okay it may have to do with a gemini libra or aquarius um or that something's, you know, there's something here with the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Tyrannian energy here on this Five of Pentacles. And it could be with like investments and stuff the way they are right now that you've taken a hit in like some of your investments. A lot of people have right now. Um, so it could be that that's just kind of, you know, making you a little nervous, um, you know. Yeah. And I have Ace of Cups in reverse. And like there's something to do with love here though with this tapped off like I feel like okay so this five of pentacles has to do with emotional and spiritual fulfillment not with money here somehow Leo let's see what is this um, king of pentacles I've had one empress and like I've seen three or four kings it's a lot of masculine energy here 
masculine energy behind the card does not mean that it's a masculine, but masculine energy behind the card. Females can display in both, and so can males. But just a lot of masculine energy here, a lot of father energy, and a lot of masculine energy. Maybe you have to deal with a lot of um, males at work, even if you're a female or something of this sort, but some of this has to do with, hold on, what is this King of Pentacles? Nope, this is a heartbreak. <laughs> There is like something that was blocked out that happened here that causing heartbreak with a um, Virgo Capricorn or Taurus, all right? Somebody with those placements prominent, okay? Could it be with a domestic partner? If some of you um, are leaving somebody else, you may feel like you have to leave a partner out in the cold to do so. And you've been at a crossroads over communicating about this or communication has been cut off some way about the crossroads of the indecision about what to do about the relationship for those of you that this applies to. It's like some of you may have blocked this person from accessing you. Okay, if you went through a breakup with somebody like that, you may have blocked the person from accessing you, literally, for one reason or another. Maybe because of something else you had going on here. All right, or this was a, an, an ex. But this person is definitely like, there was heartbreaking, it's like, and again, I've had, this is now my third or fourth three, so there could be a, been a third party situation that left you feeling at a crossroads, which is why you cut off communications with this person, but something about it's very heartbreaking, all right, um, and may involve a younger um, air sign. But does not have to. I think moreover, this involves like literally blocking somebody out so that they can't get to you. Or this is you. That this person is kind of blocking out or something's being blocked here for sure. Okay? And it may be for your own protection. Hold on. What is this Ace of Wands? This is a real funky reading. Leo, I haven't had any normal ones, but and I didn't expect them, but geez. Um, um, in your hopes and your fears... I have a Three of Cups, an Ace of Wands, and Judgment. So, I mean, I do show here that you're like, you are hoping for something to um, complete here. And it's pretty big here. Um, you may be looking forward to a celebration or something new taking root here of significance to you. Okay, whether it's an idea or a relationship or new passionate thing here, you're being very elusive here with me, which I respect you for, you know, cross watchers and all, but... Um, there's something very elusive about your feelings right now. And so I'm getting this feeling like some of them are cloudy to even you or something. Like they're very heavy. Hold on. What's this Two of Cups? I'm going to have to pull another deck. On the Two of Cups, again, some of you are going through a breakup. It's either a breakup of a partnership, breakup of something with family, breakup of some, some huge foundation has like... The foundation is cracked and needs to be redone. Either you're leaving a work position or you're, you know, leaving your house and buying a new one or the foundation where you are somehow is cracked in a relationship and it may affect other relationships even if it's not your love relationship, okay? On this Two of Cups, I get the Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and Death, okay? So there's something that's ending here that you, you were in a lot of anxiety about this relationship, okay? And I do show here it's a family relationship, okay? Um... But that's transforming here with death. But something, again, I feel like some of you, this has to do with um, some depression due to the loss of, of a loved one. For some of you, it does. Like, and it's pretty deep for those of you that that is, okay? And I'm sorry for those of you that that is. And that would make sense that especially with these aspects and your birthday, that that would be especially hard right now. Um, give me this Three of Pentacles. But for others of you, this could be a breakup of um, a significant work relationship. Give me one on these three of wands. Okay. Um, work environment, home environment, something like this here. Okay. With multiple people involved. Now in this three of pentacles, I get the five of swords. That is like, there's something that got real messed up here with, um, communications and possibly a friendship or a foundation where there's prior sparring, catty behavior, warlike tactics used that were not fair game playing here. And it's on your mind a lot. Um, hold on. What is this? What is this? And it could have to do with a child. 
um, or you want to take a leap out of that to go into through a new doorway and that is that is on offer here for you. It may not feel like you can walk it through may that. not feel like you can walk through that doorway this week even though it's on your mind as well as like this pain and mourning that's on your mind but it is possible because here in the near future I show the three of wands with the ace of cups. That is like if you were waiting for the love to return, the emotional, spiritual fulfillment to return after a time of severe loss and walking away, which I show here. I show here. You know, and I don't know if it's because they don't want me to rabbit hole this down. And, and I don't want to too much this week because of cross watchers, because just because of the aspects at play this week, and I usually do. But um, what this is, is like so some severe sadness and mourning and a lot of stuff tied to family, relationships, significant ones, um, possibly a spouse or a mother and father, okay, it's a lot of, um, and it, it, this will, the energy is fit for this right now, I mean, if it doesn't go away and you feel like truly depressed and it's not situational, go see, you know, go get medical help, but it does show here and with this three of wands and this ace of cups that whatever you're waiting on insofar as emotional and spiritual fulfillment is here in the near future for you. Okay, um, I feel like some of you do need a lot of rest right now. The energy can burn out like right now, like an almost like an electrical overload if you're on that square from anything from Uranus and Mars and the North Node to Leo um, and opposing Saturn can especially feel like draining, just draining and heavy. Um, give me this Ace of Cups. I want to know what this is about for my Leo. Um, I'm going to pull on two others over here and then I'm going to wrap it up for you. Ten of Cups. Five, that whatever you're waiting on is going to come in and what it looks to me like you're waiting on is like a return to happy home life um okay after a period of a lot of um negative behavior maybe and past old pain here okay with the five of swords there's some prior battles that were very 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 painful or something and some behavior possibly but it does show here with this ace of cups ten of cups five of swords justice so there is justice coming for any behavior of this sort if you're on the receiving end of it okay and there will be a return to um an ace of cups for you in the future here okay hold on a second all right because justice will be brought to such a, you know like i don't the energy around you is overflowing love here in the future and i do see that you're waiting on that you're waiting on the return of that, like you're missing that time, those times. Um, hold on a second. What is this Five of Swords here? Page of Swords, Ten of Rods, and the Hangman. Yeah, it's like something here that you're looking out over, or that was, it was, it feel like you're studying like the past and the things that have happened that were very five, five of swords ish. Okay. Um, you may be studying your own part that you played in those events. Okay. And how they've disturbed your peace and you may not feel like you can fix everything with them right now. But I do show that you're going to come into some emotional and spiritual fulfillment and a return to happy home life here in the future and happy family life. Okay. Um, but part of that and how you're going to get there has to do with you looking at all of what happened and it's been a heavy burden here and I do see you here in a period of like almost like just sacrificing yourself to a higher state of consciousness um, to the point where it's just a really heavy burden to bear something about your sadness here with some stuff hold on what's this justice Ace of Pentacles, the Devil, the Seven of Pentacles. What's this Devil? Some of you may have been breaking up with a Capricorn. If those of you that are divorcing from a Capricorn, it's just showing that that gets wrapped up here in the future. Okay? If you have Capricorn in your own chart, it's just showing that that part of your chart will get taken care of here for a new beginning here in the future, okay? Um, 
What's the devil here for? Oh my god. If there was something that you did swiftly in haste here, the karmic wheel is going to spin on those things, okay? So I do feel like it is telling you if somebody else did something to you here that was shady, justice will be brought to it. You may have had a lot of pain from it, especially if you invested a great deal with somebody. I mean, Seven of Pentacles is, you know... A long time okay a lot of work and emotional and you know financial and whatever you know um, investment here and you may have become a little obsessed about it in some way or another all right or like I said some of you are going to be um, completing the process of litigation with a Capricorn Sun Moon or rising it will happen okay um, that person will be getting their justice if they wronged you, okay? If that appears in your chart, you need to deal with um, those aspects of yourself. And part of walking yourself or getting back to this Ace of Cups and this Ten of Cups that you've been missing so bad has to do with re-examining those things that I discussed to do with the Five of Swords, okay? You're really taking a look or studying it, but it's a real heavy weight and it's hard to do, but it's like a processing thing that you're doing right now here with it. Um, on this Devil, I get the Knight of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So again, like I said, if somebody took swift or hasty, hasty action or communications here with you um, that were done in haste, that, that wound up in regret and loss and mourning, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is spinning on those things, okay? The Wheel of Karma and Fate is spinning on those things. Hold on. Give me, give me this, um, give me this Nine of Swords. I just, I do see for some of you have a breakup or loss very large in the family here. On this Nine of Swords, my deck is in reverse, but on this Nine of Swords, it's Queen of Pentacles, the Star, and the Two of Wands. If you got into something with someone that was on the Aquarian Capricorn cusp and did something in haste here, you know, dealing with the other person or some sort of contract here, you know, you are going to be able to get your justice and get out of it or fix or turn around the situation. It looks pretty damn heavy, right? Um, for those of you that have that in your chart, I do see healing and, and new opportunities here coming into you, but I do see that for those of you that identify with this devil and this here, okay, then, um, you know, in that scenario, I do see that you're healing from some sort of contract or deal you made, I don't want to say deal with the devil, but you felt like it was, and you planted a big harvest there, but you're walking away from it, okay, you're walking away from it, um, there will be healing around it, okay, what is this Wheel of Fortune, holy shit, I'm, I am going to ask for one other. Hold on. <sighs> Holy shit. Somebody, like, stole from you. If this isn't you, it's like somebody made it. Somebody did something shoddy. But you're walking away from lying and deception and the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like Three of Swords, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords. Okay. What is this death up here? You may be breaking ties with somebody. I said that earlier, okay? Um, and that's for some of you, that may just be with your own behavior here. For some of you, it could be, okay? For others of you, you, you may be going through an actual divorce or some sort of legal process where there has been some weird shit that went down, okay, that you're trying to heal from. It's real heavy on you right now. The Leo in here, it's like you guys, like, are okay. Like, um... I'm just, my heart's going out to you right now because the Leo, this Leo reading is particularly tough. Um, give me this death over here. There you are, Queen of Rods. Temperance, it's exactly what I want to see. And the Five of Wands. Um, whatever transition you're going through, death, rebirth here, that caused you a lot of anxiety, it looks like it has to do with 
family legacy, possibly a marriage, okay? If there's an ending, you'll be okay. There's scorpionic energy here and temperance, death. And I asked on death. I got the queen of rods. That's you. Temperance or a Sagittarius if you're dealing with a Sag, somebody with Sag, okay? Um, somebody with Sag, if, you know, maybe coming in here to um, help, okay, with any arguments or fights here or catty behavior here with the five of wands here. Okay, hold on a second. There's somebody by the Sag Scorpio cusp. Hold on. What is this? What is this five of rods? This is a really heavy reading. I didn't know. I mean, I knew every single one. <laughs> I knew it was going to be rough. Um, page of cups. Six of, yeah. I do see that like, I feel like this, um, this death or transformation or whatever occurs here, okay, it's going to be good. There's some new um, person here that you greatly admire and or is a child or a new start here that's going to be very successful. Page of Cups, Six of Rods, and the Nine of Cups. That's freaking phenomenal. So the Five of Swords as it appears, I mean the Five of Wands as it appears here is as a training card for that, okay, because the Five of Rods can be um, a training card. So whatever transformation you you make here or death or ending here you know you have um some protection that pops in here to help you get through it all right and to chase new things for some of you those things might be a person or they may be a creative project but they're your own wish fulfillment with the nine of cups here and with the six of wands here that's a that's a fixed fire energy that's leo energy and that's a victory so you, you know, you're going to be victorious in the end. I just see that you're in a lot of pain right now, Leo. So, um, try and tap in, you know, and talk to some people about how you're feeling, you know, and how sad you are. If you're sad, you know, don't be afraid to cry. I mean, you know, um, I, cause I feel like a lot of this is under the surface or something. Hold on. I'm going to get one of these for you. Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine supports our strong focus and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. I had like four or five kings pop up in here and only one queen. So, and alchemy. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance that magically hold. Each one of us has the potential to access this that allowed the true alchemists to perform the miracles of transmutation. And there is a big transmutation here going on after a period of loss and mourning and walking away from a lot of emotional and financial investments of one kind or another. So um, my heart goes out to you guys. Okay, you guys are gonna be fine. The weather this week is like this for all signs. It's not just you. So um, just remember, it's not a personal thing on these um, transits, okay? It's a period of growth. Okay, next week will be better. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye, Leo.